yeah the ECG label bot by the way go check it out if you haven't done so already you can uh, test your skills of uh, labeling normal normal and abnormal ECG uh, currently um, 10 points 20 points ahead of the robot because for some reason I did one uh, miss the scrolling of the signal on the screen will become faster with every 50 points so I'm not clicking on things that look normal ECG and I do click on abnormal stuff like that one and I'm 20 points 10 points ahead I haven't made any mistakes yet the bot did one miss know why but the bot doesn't seem to make any mistakes anymore so good luck humans especially once it's uh, starting to scroll faster that's abnormal as well it's just uh, that one is actually probably some of them are harder to detect than others I actually know what they are and um, there's only five abnormal waveforms and one uh, normal it's kind of easy for me because I create, like I know what they are, I created the, the actual waveforms, they are synthetic, it's not real uh, ECG, that was normal, normal, now it's becoming harder, I don't know why there's three normals in a row, yeah, every 50 points it becomes faster and faster, obviously the robot doesn't have any trouble with speed, it doesn't make any mistakes anymore, they did one miss in the beginning, and it's only a matter of time until the human assuming i'm human will start making loads of mistakes because well either it's scrolling way too fast for me or i'm just not paying attention anymore which one will happen first we shall see very soon yeah that was normal i haven't made any mistakes yet in uh, labeling in detecting Ooh. okay did the first miss second miss yeah once you once you did one mistake then it's it's going downhill but the bot keeps me doing misses as well that shouldn't be the case you can uh, uh, change the change the amount of uh, noise you have to the signal then it's easier or oh, harder for the bot as well but it might be harder as well for the human to increase the amount of noise i don't know what happened there with uh, six misses quite a bit with some sort of bug it doesn't do any mistakes anymore it's way too fast for me the bot doesn't care I seem to be missing one specific Potentially, if the algorithm is not tuned uh, well enough, this is a fuzzy logic algorithm. It can actually kind of work together with the robot. It's too fast for me. I can't do it anymore. It can work together with the robot by just clicking whatever. When it says uh, abnormal, you have to click. Normal, don't click. You can see it there at the bottom. So I can kind of... Uh, oops. I can't even... Yeah. can't even do simple things like that. Anyway, you get the point. The bot is winning by far. My point's going down because I'm making all this. I already made the 26 misses. Uh, three false alarms. So clicked on a normal waveform. Oh, why the bot? They yeah, keep having these misses. It should stop. If I reduce the noise, this should stay at 11. It's probably the number of uh, negative positive uh, peaks when it's noisy it might be detecting a few of those it's not much easier for me uh, without the noise we have higher noise these numbers should start going up the ones in the red yeah false alarm false alarm still doing mm, yeah more false alarms yeah so that default uh, noise value somewhere in the in the middle there we're just uh, doing mostly okay generating some errors but yeah check out this tool let me know 
what the score you can achieve. There's currently no, yeah, that's what the flask uh, backhand could be used for. He's pulling up um, uh, some sort of leaderboard. You know, let me know if uh, it's interesting. I don't really want to turn it into a competition. It's just a learning tool, really. And go check the website if you haven't done so already. There's a lot of interesting tools.